Good morning and happy Wednesday. Today I am doing another challenge. It is hosted by Tammy over at Lou Fru Fru Studio. I'll put all the information in the description. The prompts today are yellow and hexagon. This was kind of a tough one for me. Not so much the hexagon, but the yellow. I don't know what it is about yellow. I mean, I like yellow, but certain yellows. So I pulled out my my dies and my stamps, and this is where I went with this challenge. Um, I am going to start a, a bee journal. Well, I have a couple now. <clears throat> Sorry, I just uh, still got the throat thing. So these are the dies I pulled out for my bees, and then I pulled out my bee stamps. Um, this is the hexagon stamp or die I have, and this is by Crafter's Companion, and it just has um, the nested dies. So I've had this for quite a while. It also has a die that uh, stamp or uh, cuts the uh, the smaller hexagon. This one is a decorative, and then the uh, friend, and it has you know where you can cut it out as well. So I haven't really messed with that, but I've used the hexagons. So what I did was made some fabric paper. I have B fabric, and uh, oh, this is the I have this one here, which is kind of a border. This one is a stamp. I think it has dies too. Yeah. Yep, it has a where you can stamp and die cut it out. I like those, but the B is pretty large on that one. It has uh, roses in the middle. <clears throat> and then have this one here. It's kind of a um, a hexagon shape. I thought about using that, but then I decided I think I want to make a journal cover for this challenge, or not a journal cover, a topper. I have this one here. I had this and then I was gifted one, so I just put them together. Uh, they're really small dies and it's nice if you want to cut them out to be able to, you know, mass make. So I put those together. I don't think I cut samples now. I haven't really used my bee stuff a lot. I have this one here by Spellbinders, and I, I did do a sample on that. It has a hexagon as well, but it's smaller. I really like this one. I have used this one a lot. These are all the samples. This is uh, Momenta, so I really like this one. This little bee right here is super cute. So those are the dies I have that pertain to bees. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, these are my stamps. I don't have too, too many. Um, and I have been collecting for a long time, so. Uh, some things I like, some things I don't. This is something I started doing, putting my clear stamps in these envelopes like I do my die cuts. Um... I used to storm in these cases right here, but they kind of didn't stay. These are a lot thicker, bulkier, and I really like uh, these. <clears throat> Sorry. So this one's, uh, yeah, I stamped it on the back. This one's really cute. It has a cute bee. The bee is 
attach to the honeycomb, but you can move this saying around. And it has be, be like the bumblebee, never give, give up, you can fly. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Be like the bumblebee, never give up, you can fly. And then it has a be happy, and it has a little swirl thing, so that's kind of cute. And it also has little pieces if you need to connect and, and do that. So there's that one. <clears throat> and then this one is just all over honeycomb background, I consider. Bo Bunny, I got this when Tuesday morning was uh, open. I like, I pulled this one out. I love the bird on there in the flower, but it has the cutest little bees right here. Tiny little bees. So I haven't stamped that out yet, but. And then this one here, um, this one's Hampton Art. It has all of these. I like doing that stamping a sample and then putting them in there uh, like that <clears throat> I just um, save your packaging because it helps protect your stamps I just put a um, uh, the packaging that it came with uh, so I can lift it up and put it back double stick tape which I used I can see I used the um, Dollar Tree double stick tape to put that packaging down I just cut it to fit um, my poster board and that all worked and put those in there so I stamped uh, this out first but yeah I like that these are cute so I have that but that extra um, packaging it really protects your stamps and it's best if they don't touch each other um, or overlap you know like one on top of the other I've had have stamps get ruined like that and had to toss them because they just wouldn't stamp anymore they melted together so <clears throat> if you're gonna something you're gonna pay for and use it over and over again it, it's great to have a plan to uh, take care of them I need to do something with this one here this one has the tiniest little flower I love it um okay it has a little bee here and then yeah oh yeah be happy it has a be happy it comes with a die and flower and bee die but it's the same as um, where is it? Right here. <clears throat> My Momenta. It's the same. But it doesn't, it says stamp and cut, but it didn't come with anything to stamp these out. So I'm not really sure. Kind of, but I do like it. It's always good to have little smalls. Oh, it has a little beehive. Not every stamp has everything that you like, but you can combine other things. And then I have this tiny little set. Um, I don't even know where I got this. It's Recollection. But it has the tiniest little bee stamp right here. I like that. I like smalls. <clears throat> and then I have this one here. This is Stampin' Up. It's the cutest little bee. Use this a lot. His face is worn off, but he's cute. And then I have this one here. This is... Uh, Stampede. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I need to drink some pineapple juice. Can't see what it is. I'm not really sure. 
Okay. But that's cute. It just has the two bees. We'll be friends forever. And then another Stampin' Up! Little Bee. A little uh, beehive with bees. That one's cute. <clears throat> and then this one here, too. I think this is the same as this one. Yeah. Stampede. These two. Cute. Super cute. Alright, that's all I have. And I'll show you what I made so far. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I made these little hexagons uh, yesterday, trying to plan something out. And I have some fabric here. I cut some out of this, and I just made my fabric paper, and I will try to remember to link uh, that video of where I did that, how to make fabric paper that I die cut out. But this one here, I did on the yellow. I was trying to go yellow, but I, I'm, I'm not going to, my background's not going to be yellow. So, I mean, this fabric was okay. It's got a sheen to it. It is synthetic. I really wanted more of the cottony uh, look here with this. I have a lot of this. And then this is my inspiration fabric here. I just went in my stash and found this. So this is cute. Um, I don't even know. I'm sure it's from Joann's. Oh no, Hobby Lobby. Alright, so that was from Hobby Lobby. So that's what I did. I just made some fabric paper and then die cut it out. And I did the same with this as well. So, and then I made um, hexagons with those. All right, so I first toyed with the idea of doing yellow, which I picked from my recollection sugar candy. I'm going to have a glare here for a little bit until the sun moves around. Um, here's the yellow that I kind of like. Here, and I was trying to play around with maybe doing some layering. Um, I sewed around these too. I sewed them to, um, uh, I made my fabric paper, which I, I've showed that. You can glue, glue stick your, use the Scotch Permanent, which is the best, to coffee filter and then let it dry completely and then die cut it out works and these are where's my die oh. these are thin lit dies that I used so it worked well and I wanted some more um, thickness and stability to it so I glued it to a piece of scrap um, cardstock and then sewed around so it would, you know, have some dimension. So what I was thinking, this one here, this one, this one, yeah, that's sewn. This is what I was thinking of layering. Um, I should have took a picture of it, but that I kind of want the big one in the middle and then the smaller ones um, and this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna do a 9 by 6 um, B journal so that's what I'm the measurement I'm gonna go off of okay I'm missing something here okay that's so I kind of wanted to do like this, but I wasn't liking the yellow, and I just kept scrapping it, scrapping it. And then I thought, 
it just needs more color. I just, the yellow just wasn't getting it for me. Nothing against yellow. And I have these die cuts too. Uh, let's see. So I thought I would go with either, I've got my Cool Waters paper. It has these two colors, which are kind of cool. with this well let me just take that so i just have to figure out which one the lighter one or the darker one i think i like this one right here so i'm gonna i'm gonna scrap the yellow because the challenge is hexagon and yellow, but I do have yellow in my fabric. So I think I'm good there. Um, okay, so no yellow. I think I'm going to go with this one here. Let me just see what it looks like. This is, um, this is how I do my separate them because it comes with five different colors but I try to keep the packaging in there uh, when I was making stuff for my die cuts for my shop. So, okay, yeah, I think I like the darker color. That's more of what I was looking for. Uh, I also have this kit here too, which is my daughter's. Um, over at Woodland Silver, it's her spring kit. She has two. Uh, she has a tall, skinny watercolor flowers. Um, and then this one here, uh, wildflowers. There are 16 pages, including the cover sheet. And it's very versatile. I've got it all printed. But my thought is... And really nice big tags. I love the big tags. Beautiful. I'm going to do, for this kit here, I'm going to go purple. So I haven't decided on that yet. So that'll be another B journal with this set here. So I'm really happy about that. So for today with the yellow I think will go good with this um, okay so I just have to make sure nine by six uh, nine by six so I think I'm gonna cut this down okay I just have to do this on camera to get me to decide I have a bunch of stuff cut. I was cutting a bunch of stuff, stuff, and I didn't like it. All right, so just going to go with a 9 by 6 That'll give me a guide. So there's my cover. Uh, I removed my tape down here, so I have to pay attention. All right. Um, I think I want that like that. Okay. And I want this in the middle. And then I got my little bee. I just love all the different textures. Hmm. I wish I could do this one a little bit smaller, but I think I'm okay. I just wanted to see the um the material behind. So there, if I centered that, 
I would have enough room for cover. Then, here, let me find my die. Not really sure how I have. Okay, I have to find a center. Okay, I'm not really sure. Maybe like right there. Oh, okay, right there. I like that. That's pretty, but um just feel like it needs something here and I'll probably round the corners or maybe I'll put um, corner pieces because this is going to be a topper I don't really like the corner pieces I have but um, I haven't really ventured have these oh, I ruined that one I'm not very good at putting them on okay I could Hmm. Not really liking those. I need to get some different corner pieces. Yeah. No. Okay. Um. I need to look into the corner pieces. So. Um. Maybe if I stamp something, I just feel like it just needs something. I really love this. It's very nice and bright and cheery, which I was looking for. Um, I cut out a bunch of bees in the wallpaper that I got from uh, Angela, the traveling crafter. See how cute this little bee is? But that's not going to go. I love them in the wallpaper, so I'll put them in my stash. These are all out of wallpaper. Um, okay, let me look at my stamps. Mm, I already have that, so I don't want that. Mm. Hmm. I like this be happy. How does that stamp? Be happy. Well, um, hmm. I guess I could put that right there, stamp that. Like this, hang on. Let me put this back. I have stamped this before, this one here. Yeah, it has a little flower. There's a little flower right there to go over the bee. 
I would have to leave enough room for a corner piece or round my corners because this is going to be a topper. Okay, kind of like that. Then what? This is why having options is uh, a good thing. I kind of like this little beehive with the little bees. It's got tiny little bees. I could put that there. Well, if I don't like it, I don't like it, but... <laughs> Got a little bee here, tiny little bee, and then I have this little bee that has a little trailing like that. Hmm. Not sure. I do like the little tail, like he's flying up. Okay, so I need a little something something for here. It is almost lunchtime. Well, no, I already have honeycombs here. The smaller, I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'll go with that. I mean, it's just paper if I don't like it, paper and a little bit of fabric. these in my basket here so I don't lose nothing. Um, oops. There's my beehive. Let me just, okay, I don't want that one. All right. Um, okay, so there's that. So I figure out, I'm already at 27 minutes. Do I want to cut these out of this? Or just glue these on. I almost think I want to cut these out. Okay. There's my tray. I already got that. Um, all right. I'm going to dump that. Put my stamps in here until I'm ready. And I think I'm going to cut this out. I think I'm going to cut these out. Cut them out and lay them in. Because this is going to be a bear to um, glue. So I'm going to use my mint tape. Just have to make sure that these are where I want them. Not too close to the edge, maybe. in the center because that tape I like the tape it's just um, not everything I'd hope for and I don't want to ruin my outside here oops I 
That doesn't do me any good. I gotta cut it. Okay. I have to tape this down. Okay. I'll take this one off. I'm going to tape this down. I'll have to do one by one. I only have one die, so whoopsie. I kind of want to keep this centered so I have room around in case I want to sew all the way around this. All right. Really didn't want to do this because I'm going to put, I want to stamp. I'm, I'm putting sticky stuff on here, which is not good. I'll have to use my embossing buddy. Uh, okay, let me take this off. Take these off. Grab my machine. I'm always fishing for something. Okay, hopefully this will fit without gimpering it. I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to do one side at a time here, hopefully. I can always grab another paper if I don't like it. Okay. So that basically just cuts the whole thing out. So I'm going to leave that tape on there and try to pop this out. Okay, so I'm going to do this again. I have to line it up though. This is my thought was to set that in there like that then I'm going to have to have something on the back side. Well. And sky's the limit for that, but no, not the yellow, I don't think. This might be another long video. Okay, that. No, I don't want the yellow. Okay, sorry yellow. Not today. I could just do this on the back side. Yeah, I think I like that. So I'll stick with the same color. <clears throat> and that too will give it stability. Alright, so I need to line this up. Okay, let's see. Where does that go? Like that. And then... So 
this is going to go here. I really need my pieces in there to line this up again. I only need the, these. Okay. Kind of want them. <clears throat> Sorry. Centered. Like that. There we go. Oh, that's almost perfect. Just want to stay away from the edge. All right, I'm going to tack that down. Cut that out. Okay. Love those little hexagons. All right, so I'm going to put this side. probably should have stamped my images first because now I got that sticky um, tape on there residue so I'm going to have to hit it real hard with the uh, embossing buddy yeah see I'm not really excited about this mint tape oh man alright I'll get that later okay so there's my piece. Now I gotta glue it. No, I don't want to glue the back. I'm gonna stamp it. So let's see. I've got my sticky grid on there. And I use that to, um, it's sticky on both sides, to hold my project. So, um, hmm. I'm going to need to hit this with the embossing buddy before I put it on there because I'll get that powder all over. So let me do that real quick. And I just put it, clipped it like this because it's easier for me to handle. You definitely don't want this in your ink or on your sticky grid. So do your project beforehand. You can touch it up right before you get ready to stamp because uh, we do have oils on our, on our hands and I put uh, lotion on my hands a lot. I think for the most part it was like right here where the stuff was so um, okay that should be good I'll hit it up just a little bit okay I can go like this um Okay, what did I have in the top here? Stuff everywhere. I had Be Happy. I think I need to put my things back on to center. This one here. Okay. just fits. Excuse me. 
tummy is grumbling. Okay, and I had this one up there. So I'm just going to do those two right now. Just wondering if that flower is just too small and that's too big. Should I do that? I might do it like that. Okay. All right, these are clear stamps. I'm going to make sure my clear is like so. Let me take these out. Oops. And now what color? Hmm. I think I'm going to use gold. I think gold would look good with that color. Okay. Got to find my paper plate. And I need my verse mark. Okay, um, do I do both or one at a time? Hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm no stickiness. All right, trick is with the Versamark, um, if you have words, I try to go light on the stamping because the more sticky you put on it, the thicker your lines will be. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And I always put my ink pad to my stamp, otherwise you get ink where you don't want it. And I'm hoping I can see what I just did. Let's see. Can see it. Uh, I'm just worried I didn't get enough there, but I think I'm okay. Just gonna do a little bit. I'm just tapping, I'm not mashing. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm going to peel this off and put my protector sheet. I just saved the release paper to put this back on. And then I need another piece of paper. For where my stamps are going down because I don't want sticky on that. Just see if I'm good. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully I got it. Oh yeah, I can see it. I might have got too thick, but... And this is just the Ranger... Oh, gold. Okay, that looks good. I'm just going to make sure I'm good with no extra spots. I do see a little extra spot over here. I'm going to see if I can find my paintbrush and just get that little fleck off. If you do it before, you heat set, you'll be good. Okay, that, that'll work. All right, let me pour this back in. I see one little, mm, looking for my tweezers. It's <laughs> my tummy is like growling like food, food. I'm waiting to lunch because I made chili and I really want some chili. Okay, there we go. Put this back on because I do spill things. All right, I'm going to heat set this, and uh, I now have this uh, 
old glass cutting mat, so I'm going to use that. So I'll make sure I'm good here. Looks good. Okay, uh, it's going to be a little noisy. Just slow movements when you're doing heat embossing. That's all that's necessary. Wow, I love it. Oh, hang on. You can see. Yeah. I love it. I love it on this color. Okay, so now I need to get rid of these stamps and put my bottom ones on. And just slide this over. Alright, um, and when you use um, Versamarking, because it is sticky, um, you know, I could wait until after I'm done with the video to wipe these off, but uh, I like to get them because that sticky will stay on there. You definitely want to clean them off. I'm just using a wet wipe. And then I have a microfiber cloth that I got at the dollar store. It's dry, and I'm just going to hit it. And I'm good with that. And I try to have a tray when I'm working. I have bigger trays like this to stack things in, and then I'll put them away later. Uh, let's see. Got my beehive. Um, just trying to see. I'm gonna stick. I think I can stick it this way here, so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I've just been touching it. All right. I have my little beehive with the little bees. Hmm. This one I pulled off the block. It does have some double stick tape on it. It might it might stay. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. I think I'm just going to put that right there. And then I have my little uh, flying away bee. I think like that. And these are kind of thin. I'm hoping I can get away with the clear side if they touch I'm good but I think um, this one's a different thickness than this one so I'm gonna do one at a time now I see my B hive has something on it some lint so I'm just going to get that off and it's not quite straight sometimes you can put things down but when you look at it after you have it set you can tweak it okay uh, I think I'll go with the beehive first I'm hoping that's good enough and because this is a darker um, cardstock, I should be able to see it. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take this off because it's a different height. Put it back on my block. I'll clean it in a little bit. And then I'm going to do this one. So you can set your stuff. But if you have trouble um, doing a whole bunch of stuff, just take them off. Do them one by one and take them off. This stuff is pretty sticky. It'll stay wet for a little bit. I used to do a lot of gift tags where I would um, have, you know, different items on one tag from different stamps. 
Uh, so I'm going to take this off anyways. I'll clean it in a minute. I shouldn't have touched it because now I got sticky. Pull this off. Put my protector sheet back on. That'll prolong the life of that sticky grid. And I think I'm done with this. I think I need a new paper plate. Oops. Put that in there. That looks really good. I got a little bit at the bottom there. I'm going to take that off. Let me just put my powder away here. Okay. My beehives have a little crooked, but it's not enough to concern me. It's cute. All right, I'm going to heat set this. There we go. So now let's see if it all comes together. Okay, let's see where are my pieces. I just keep my embossing buddy in an old. Uh, gum container and it just keeps it dry and clean. Alright, um, let's just see here. So I got my pieces right here. Oh, no, that don't go like that. That's going to go like that there. Just trying to decide, do I want white on the background, or do I want this color on the background? So let me just see. Let me put this in here. Hmm. I was thinking I like the white. All right, let me put my pieces on. But I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. So decisions, decisions. I like the brightness that the white brings. So um, let's set up again. There's that. Is that so? Yeah. Uh, that goes there. This one goes in the center. That one I went up top. And this is my little flower piece that goes there. Wow, okay. Oops, that's got to stay, and this goes right there, just above that. Oops, that's not in, right? This goes like this. Okay. It's not going to stay until I glue it down, but um, yeah, this goes like that. I 
think I like the white behind better because this makes it dark. Oops. Got like that. Hmm. I think I'll like the white. And then I'll have to put some corner pieces. Yeah, I like that. So that'll be... So I'm going to go with the white. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, so that's going to be my topper. I'm going to glue this all down. Uh, I have to glue these pieces down. I may sew underneath here so I know that piece is down. If I'd have thought ahead, I would have sewed these pieces to that piece, but I really wasn't sure, but that's okay. And then I will glue this to white cardstock. I might go with something thicker, uh, maybe poster board, uh, to give it stability because it's going to be a journal topper, a cover to a journal. And then I need to think about uh, corner pieces. Yeah, I really like that. <clears throat> okay, so there is my yellow in the bee and in the flower and then my hexagon. So what do you think? I'll get this all done and put it, uh, share it next time. So there's my journal topper. I really like the, uh, the gold with this color. I just love it. So it's the starting of a new journal. Uh, kind of thinking maybe I should have cut it down smaller, but uh, it's going to be the cover, so I'll have to work with it. If it's a little bit bigger than nine by six, then it'll be all right. You know, I can deal with that. Okay, that's my share for today. I'm at 57 minutes. I got to run. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your day. Bye.